So Tim, it's been since December when we released our Mac OS Productivity Tips videos. Yep. What happened? Since then, we have had a Mac OS release. Mavericks has come out. Oh boy, I yeah. bet none of the videos apply anymore. That's All right. All of built in. But some people have been concerned, you know, is this stuff still going to apply to Mavericks? It does. By and large, aside from these two quick little things we'll show you, it all still applies and it's all still productivity enhancing, but they're actually the recipients of the win. Some of the stuff folded into the OS. That's right. Some stuff we talked about. For example, tabs. We talked about some commercial extensions to mm -hmm. the Finder that you could get that would give you tabbed file browsing in the Finder and some other things. Right. Well, that's now a built-in part of the OS. Just Command T in any Finder window and you've got tabs. You can open up lots of them. You can drag them around. You can pull them Order. out of the window and open up new Finder windows. Uh, super, super handy feature. I use this a lot now when I'm just doing regular file maintenance, moving things around. It's really made the core Finder uh, an almost an equivalent to the commercial alternatives that we Really, about. yeah. And some of those still do some interesting things. You might still want them, but that, that basic functionality built in. It's a big win. So if we talked about tabs, right alongside that, we also talked about tagging. This is a great way to organize our files. You have mm -hmm. a recipe for that. I have a, a slightly different recipe that I use. We can use some commercial and open source approaches for that. That's right, because the implicit organization scheme is nested folders, right? You have a folder called documents and you put folders in that. Okay. And that works. A lot of people think that way and that works at a certain level, but then sometimes you want like something to be in two folders and how do you solve that? Except like this video right now that we record at GitHub, so it should it be in the GitHub folder, but it's for O'Reilly. Should so it be in the O'Reilly folder? folder? You're not going to copy it. Want to have both. Show us tags. So we can go over to Scratch and we can pick one of these projects, for example, mm -hmm. and with Command I, which is just our inspector view, mm -hmm. we could also right click to get there. Tags is a first class citizen. So I can simply slide in something like O'Reilly. It auto completes from the previous list. Very nice. Memorizes those. And this Great. also happens to be a GitHub project. So let's double tag it. And that, that GitHub tag didn't exist before you typed it. You just made a new tag. Fresh, brand new one. Yep. So we're going to take and close that inspector window <clears throat> down and show you over in tag over here that we in have spotlight. for O'Reilly. Tag colon O'Reilly. And you see those things. Now, if you search for tag colon GitHub. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait for it. And GitHub as part of there it. There we are. You had two folders that had been tagged as O'Reilly, only the one tagged as GitHub, so that's there. I warped what uh, you had over there, so into just one piece, you can use those same logical operators. Nice. Now, if I wanted to send you an email about this, uh, mm -hmm. I would definitely want to include emoji. I would compose that probably in some sort of plain text window. Uh huh. So, emoji. But it's not it used to a be GitHub like, yeah, where do I go page and it's find not it? My GitHub, phone. it's colon, it's really easy, and, and you know, these services like that. But how do you do it here? Control Command Space or any of the mapping that you choose. In fact, I'm going to go up to the menu to show this to you right now. I'm going to slide up to Edit and slide down to Special Character so you can discover what the character mapping is yourself. There you go. Control Command Space is the default. And it's called Special Characters. It's not called Emoji, but hey, they're pretty special. Yeah, I'll call it what I like. So let's say that we wanted to show a little bit of uh, love to our happy audience members that also own horses. And with For that, example. We have a full composed message. No exactly. words needed. Yeah. Emoji say it all. Yep. Thanks. Simple as that.